Hello, I will be reading the reviews for uh, for Dread 3D, and I'll show you the meta the critic reviews and the user reviews. Now the meta score it got 58 out of 100. The user score got a 9.4. Now the critic reviews is separated into positive, mixed, and negative. They got 17 positive uh, reviews on critic, seven mixed reviews and four negative. Now on the user reviews, that's where, um, you know, the unprofessional people, you know, just the regular consumer review the movie. Um, it, again, it's also separated into positive, mixed, and negative. It so far only got positive with nine reviews. And um, it's a really, it seems to be a really good movie um, and seems to be doing a lot uh, pretty good um, considering the scores and um, yeah I recommend you watch it um, I know I'm I would like it too so um, one critic review is uh, 95 Greg works because it's an action flick with wide appeal that takes risks it doesn't need to and is delightfully off-putting violence and daring style and those choices pay off in a singular and exhilarating movie experience. It's savage, beautiful, and loads of fun. Now the mix review is a 60. The stylish sci-fi film makes some eye-popping and unexpected choices that add up to be one heck of a fun film. Now the negative, calling Dread 3D a movie is sort of a lie. It's a, pre it's a premise and there are levels to reach, and always there's another grimy hallway to stop. Then you turn right or left, and then kill some more. Now for the user reviews, all 10. You need to dread this dread. Uh, Carl Urban nails title, character, and staying true to the comic book that the helmet never comes off. Uh, the critics uh, giving this a bad review. I did decided they weren't paid enough to give it a good one. <laughs> Or have an allergy to extreme badassery. Mm -hmm. uh, again, another one. Ten. One of my favorite, one of my personal favorite movies of the year. Dread delivers in every way. The story is pu pushed by Dread's commitment to law and the rookie. So, yeah.